Hi everyone and welcome. This is the first of three videos that will be dedicated to demonstrating the configuration of routing in the variable length subnet mask example topology that we've been using in our classes. We're going to start off by configuring the head office routers. In this particular video, we'll configure IP on the two interfaces that join the hub to the LAN routers on the head office. We'll also configure on the hub router a route that is going to forward all corporate traffic headed for the head office LAN to the head office LAN router. And we will also configure a route on the head office LAN router to forward all corporate traffic to the head office hub router. Let's get started first on the hub router. I'm going to go into global config mode. The first thing that I'm going to do is configure the IP address on interface gigabit02, which is the one that joins to the head office LAN router. This is a slash 30 address, as we can see from the schematic. I'll enter that and enable the interface. And we'll go over to the LAN router next and configure IP so that we can get the link up and running. In this case, I'm going to be configuring interface gigabit zero. And I will configure the IP address here as well. And we'll enable this interface. You can see that those interfaces are up. At this point in time, I should be able to ping the interface connecting to my LAN router. And as we can see, that works fine. The other thing I'm going to do while I'm here is configure a loopback interface and apply an IP address to it that would be on the 10.0.0.0 slash 11 network that comprises the head office LAN, and that will simply be there to allow us to test the routes a little bit later on. I've entered in an IP address that will allow us to have a 10.0.1.0 slash 24 network. And we will make sure that our interface is operating. And we should be good to go with that. If we look at the IP addresses that are assigned on our interfaces, we can see our uplink that goes to our hub router, and we can also see the IP address that's been assigned to our loopback. Let's go back over to our hub router and set up routing. What we need to do in this case is very simple. We need to set up one route that is going to send any traffic that is destined to the head office LAN network to that router. Now we could make this a lot more complex. Let's say for example that our head office has 15 different subnets or 20 different subnets. We could configure a route for every one of those subnets on the hub router so that the traffic would be forwarded to the LAN. However, it's far simpler if we use route summarization and that's all part of our IP design. So by having everything on the head office LAN on the 10.000 slash 11 network, all I have to do is create a single route for anything on 10.000 slash 11 and send that to the head office LAN router. 
IP route command to 10.000 slash 11 and send that traffic to the IP address that is on the gigabit zero interface on the head office LAN router. If we look at the effect of that on our routing table, we can see that there is a single static route for 10.000 slash 11, and that is going to go to the head office LAN router. Let's go over to head office LAN router and we'll configure the route to send the traffic back, corporate traffic that is, back to the head office hub router. Here we don't have any routes configured yet. I'm going to configure a route to 10.000 slash 8. Meaning all corporate traffic that is not local on this LAN. Now we could use a default route for this if we wanted to, except for the fact that there's more than likely a connection from the head office out to the internet and we'll need the default route to forward traffic to the internet. And that traffic is going to go to the connected interface on the head office hub router. We can look at the effect of that on the routing table. And we can see our static route for 10.000 slash 8, which is going to go to the IP address on the hub router. Let's do a quick test. We'll make sure that that's behaving properly. Over on the hub router, let's try to ping that loopback interface, which is going to represent a subnet on our corporate LAN. And we can see that works successfully, meaning that the route that we configured on the head office hub is going to be forwarding traffic to anything 10.0 something, uh, in this case 10.0.0.0 slash um, 11. And we can see that the traffic is being forwarded correctly to 10.0.1.1, which is on a network within the 10.000 slash 11 network. It's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, and we'll see you next time.